Hey traders, Jamie Setley here for SB Trade Desk, and I'd like to give you some pointers on using our website, specifically the information that pertains to swing trading. So let's take a look. So if you're logged into the homepage, this is what you see. Right off the bat, you'll have the webinar schedule. We got four webinars a week, and these are the times when they're happening. If you look to the right, you'll see recent posts, whether it's intraday, swing, free content, you name it, it's all right here. Okay, so the newest information is clickable. Click on it, you'll be taken to the newest stuff. Let's go through the long-term charts page now, which is where the swing content really starts. Click on that tab, and you'll see the latest swing updates to the right. Take you one uh, real quick, so you know what it looks like. Scroll down, and right into the center of the page, you'll see the active and pending trades. Okay, active trades, the ones that are open, pending trades, these are the orders. Go back to the long-term charts page and kind of show you a little bit more. Uh, this page, as it sounds long-term, is mostly monthly and weekly charts. You got G7 currencies, the S&P 500. There'll be other major indices here when I have a view on those, and gold. Okay, you'll find long-term slope analysis, cycle analysis, wave counts, highlighted long-term price levels, analogs, all kinds of good stuff here, and more on this page. Now, given the long-term nature of this page, Different sections might be updated just a few times a month. It really depends what's going on in the market. If things are active, it will be updated more. Okay, but these charts provide context with respect to broader patterns, price levels, and trends. Now, whether you trade on this information, obviously, is going to depend on your style. Uh, I will tell you, the longer I've done this, the more I've come to rely on these longer-term levels, not just for ideas, but even timing. It's amazing how you, precise you can be with some of this longer-term slope analysis. Now let's take a look at a swing update a little more in depth. Okay, the link at the top of the page will take you there. And again, on the right, you've got the newest swing updates. So here's a swing update. You've got the scans here. I could make a whole video on what these scans mean. But for now, I'll just point you to the resources page, which will have a lot more information on that. Okay. Scroll down a little bit more. Now I've got a few important links that I like to keep handy. Uh, again, the long-term charts page, obviously also a tab at the top. Uh, special reports. Okay, I like to keep these uh, handy because you know it, they're special for a reason. It's when I have a very strong view or a lot of good information to share, uh, and it's easy to get lost in the minutia and the day to day of uh, you know market movements. So it's good to keep these on hand. You know, for example, these are some longer term euro and dollar index uh, special reports that were written in June and July. I'm making this video in August right now, but these are good to keep on hand. Uh, so you don't, don't get lost in the day-to-day -day movements. Okay, keep going down. You got a link to seasonality charts, uh, a big part of my analysis, uh, an important link to understanding trade size. There's been a lot of questions on that over the years, so I want to make that perfectly clear. Uh, obviously, trade sizing is extremely important, okay? Probably the most important aspect of trading, um, so that's handy. Uh, you've got tech levels here, okay? A lot of these levels are based on opening ranges and volume. Obviously, we'll have other considerations here as well, including you know, major horizontal levels, uh, sometimes a moving average, sometimes fibs. But for the most part, these are uh, you know, going to be opening ranges and volume levels, really what I've had the most success with over the years. Um, it, I find it helpful, too, to kind of highlight the levels that fall within one ATR okay, for that next day. So you have multiple levels here, obviously, but Euro, for example, would tell us that within one ATR of the previous day's close, you got 112.33 and 113.45.60. Gives you an idea of what might be a decent range for that next trading day. Okay, uh, now we get below here, and as mentioned before, we have the active trades, the pending trades. Pending trades are just orders, okay? Um, there may be an order left open for several days, but I do uh, you know, indicate that. Um, you know, if it follows from the next day. So in this, in this case, Euro dollar, there's an entry order here to go long. Uh, there's no chart in this uh, post for, for Euro, but I have the notes here that there's no change from the 8, 816 setup. So you know to go to the 816 post to see the chart. Okay. You've also got the watch list. Now the watch list markets are those where I envision an entry for the next one to two days. Okay. And you might have a brief note here on why I might want to, might want to do that trade. Now, obviously, I'm going to have opinions on many more markets than one or two. But if I can't see specific conditions for an entry in the next one to two days, that market won't be included in the watch list. OK, uh, you can see that in this post. All right. So, for example, we got Aussie dollar. 
Uh, here's an Aussie dollar post. It's a four hour chart. Pound dollar, four hour chart. This actually was one that is on the watch list to buy. Uh, but here's an example, Euro Aussie, okay? Euro Aussie, highlighting support around 46, 40, 46, 55, okay? saying that you know it might be a good opportunity to buy a dip down here. I don't have this on the watch list, however, because it's a little far away from current, you know, from the spot price in order to say, I'm going to put an order to, to go long here. Okay, I'd like to see how the market reacts down there first. So hopefully that gives you some sort of a insight into how I look at and treat the watch list. Okay, so that is it uh, for now. I hope that really helps you understand our website a little bit better, where you can find all the swing trade information. And uh, you know, if you're watching this and you're not a member, really, you know, say come and join us. Come join the SB community. Uh, lots of great information being shared. Lots of great teaching. And have a great day. All right, take care. Bye.